This video reviews the comparison map, also known as the subtractive or difference map. And this is used in orthokeratology analysis when you're comparing pre-treatment to post-treatment to understand the changes that have happened to the epithelial surface. It can also be used in understanding a patient's disease change over time. It can be used in appreciating pre and post refractive surgery changes. So this is a very useful tool for your analysis when you're comparing two points in time. In this case, we have an orthokeratology patient. We'll select the baseline or pre-orthokeratology topography. Then we'll hold down the control key and select the post-treatment topography. Now we want to compare was our orthokeratology treatment successful? Was it centered? Did it provide a quality refractive change? Did it produce a treatment zone that's centered to the pupil? Um, did it produce the size of treatment zone that's desired? So all of these things we can learn from the subtraction. The next step is now that we've selected the baseline and the post-treatment, let's go up to view and compare. You can also right-click and add this icon to your toolbar at the top. And you can do this for any of the icons that you frequently use. And that serves as a quick key. Now when we click the comparison icon, now we're able to observe the pre-treatment cornea versus the post-treatment cornea and how things have changed. We are comparing those two points in time to understand the difference. Now we might go up to display and ensure that we've selected the axial power map and that gives us the understanding of power changes and possible visual changes. When we click our cursor in the center, we can see this patient had a 1.94 and almost two diopter refractive change. We can see that the blue treatment zone appears fairly well centered to the pupil, possibly a little bit temporal, but the blue treatment area is covering 100% of the pupil. We'd expect this patient to visually be doing quite well if they were near to a two diopter Rx change. We can see the size of the treatment zone. We can see the effect within the pupil, uh, the change in powers within the pupil. So axial is used for visual cues to appreciate the changes over time where you might also select the tangential power map and that assesses the lens position. So here we're looking at the position of this red ring in relationship to the pupil. What we like to see is that red ring following a parallel path with the pupil border. In this case, the red ring is looking very good, slightly temporal, slightly inferior. You notice the red ring pulled in this direction. We could also use the blue ring, and that can tell us a lot about centration as well. So the red is the reservoir of the ortho -K lens where the suction force of the lens is pulling on the epithelium. The blue is where the alignment zone comes into contact with the corneal surface. That's the only part of the ortho -K lens that should actually mold the cornea with lens pressure as opposed to everything inside of this point of bearing, the blue, um, is all created hydraulically. The two principal analyses that you're going to do in ortho -K would be the axial or the tangential. Axial for vision, tangential for lens position. The other area that you might make some modification to the comparison map is by changing the scale. When you have a higher refractive change, you may need to alter the scale so it's appropriate for the refractive change that you're creating in the corneal surface. This comparison map may be the most important tool that you use post-treatment in orthokeratology. It gives you a lot of detail about the position of the treatment zone, the size of the treatment zone, the refractive change, and in the case of the tangential map, 
the lens position in the closed eye environment. And this subtraction map has benefits to many areas of our patient analysis when we're following a diseased patient, when we're comparing pre and post surgical outcomes. So many, many different applications for this particular function in your MedMod software.